What's up guys? I hope you are having a great day and in the next few episodes I want to focus on operators in JavaScript. I will be separating operators in the next few episodes instead of covering them all in one video because you will be using operators a lot and I think it's good to get a good understanding in the beginning about operators. In this video I want to talk about comparison operators and the name pretty much implies what this means. So let's create two constants const variable x is equal to 10 and const y is equal to 20. What you basically will be doing when you use comparison operators is comparing the variable of one value to another. In our case, we're going to compare constant x with constant y. There are eight comparison operators that we could use and you might have had them before in math class or in any other programming language that you have studied before. Well, we could add this in a console log. So let's say that we want to comment and I want to see if something is equal to, so a double equal sign. What we could do is to use a console.log and we could say that variable x is equal, so double equal to variable y. Let's save it. And you can see that the output is false because, well, x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 20. If we change x to 20, you can see that the output is true because x and y are equal at the moment. The second operator is called strict equal, which is a triple equal sign. So strict equal. And let's create a console.log because we want to say if variable x is triple equal to variable y. Let's save it. And the output is true. Because what we're basically doing right here is to check if the data type of the variable that we're checking and the value are equal. Right now, the constants have the same value. So let's change the first one to 10 and it changed to false. But if you wrap it in single quotes, it will also be false even though we set it equal to 20 because the type is equal to a string and a number, which is not equal to each other. We could also check if two variables are equal or not. So let's create a new comment. And the way we do that is by saying explanation mark equal to, which stands for not equal. So console.log variable x is not equal to variable y. Let's save it. And the output is false because right now variable x and y are actually equal to each other. 20 is equal to 20. And if we change it to 10, the output is true because 10 is not equal to 20. We could also check if something is strict not equal, which is done with an explanation mark, double equal sign. So it's strict not equal. Let's console.log it. So variable x, strict not equal, variable y. Save it and the output is true because the values are not the same. But if we change variable x to 20 again, the output is false, and if we set it in single quotes, the output is true, because the data types are not the same. The next couple of comparison operators that I will show you are used quite a lot. The first one is greater than, so let's console.log variable x greater than y, which is false, because variable x is 20, and variable y is 20 as well, so it's equal. So if we change it to 10, the output is false as well because it's not greater than 20. Now, if we copy paste it one more time, well, if we copy paste it now, and we want to say if it's greater than or equal, and that can be done by, well, pretty much changing the operator to the same way as you pronounce it. So you want to see if it's greater than or it's equal to. Let's save it. The output is false because it's not equal to. So if we change it to 20, the values are equal and the output is true. Now what we did with greater than could also be done with less than. So let's copy the last two, paste it. And we want to check if it's less than with a less than sign. And we want to see if it's less than or equal to. So let's save it. And you can see that it's less than is false because they are equal to, but less than and equal is true. 
And this was all you need to know about comparison operators in JavaScript. If you do enjoy my videos and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.